feels like there are two people, two separate people who are trying to get back into your good graces. One of them feels very much worthwhile or worth your while to at least entertain. This may not just be in love, okay? I know this is a love reading, but I'm definitely feeling deception around somebody else. These feel like totally different personalities, definitely two different people. Libra, be careful. Someone may be saying all the right things over the next two weeks, and they may not be able to own up to any of it. If you found that somebody deceived you in the past, whether this is in romance or, or it would be a close friendship because it definitely feels closer, maybe like a, like an inner circle type vibe, okay? If somebody deceived you in the past, yes, they may come back and try to make amends. That's one thing. Forgiveness is great and will serve you very well over the next couple of weeks and months ahead. But that doesn't necessarily mean that this person should come all the way back in. Okay, that person aside, you weave through that, you know who that person is. This other person comes back and their soul feels so good. Their spirit, their energy, their love, their intention, everything about that. It's like night and day between these two people. Now you could have two love interests trying to come back. We are in Mercury retrograde. Exes, old friends, old people show up during the retrogrades. So prepare for that, okay? But also be prepared to do a little digging, trust your own intuition, because somebody does feel like they're showing up. And there was either deceit in the past that might be a little too big for you to entertain this person coming back. However, I do feel like you could get some peace, though, from speaking to that person again, seeing how much that they've changed, holding space for you to see that you're not really emotionally connected to that experience anymore, which is super healing in and of itself. Okay, so don't take anything at face value. Trust your intuition. Two different people, okay? So let's get a little bit more clarity on this. Libra and love, July 15th through the end of the month. All right, calling in your soulmate. This is a beautiful energy to start with. <sighs> Libra, okay, so I'm definitely getting a connection to a friendship. Could a friend be coming back? Maybe you didn't have any crazy falling out with someone who is only a friend to you that you would entertain actually having a romantic relationship with. It feels like that person would be really good for you. You have a very intact friendship, but they come back. It feels like someone comes back, okay? Um, this also could be for those of you who are currently separated from a partner, this soulmate comes back and their energy and their heart and their intention is 100% pure. Like this is definitely somebody you're going to want to let in again. And again, do your due diligence. You don't have to let them in day one that they call you and they want you back. But when you really see how beautiful this energy is and they make you feel good from the inside out, yes, Libra, the answer to that is yes. But for some of you, this is somebody coming back from the past. It feels like they were only a friend. It feels like someone you never really gave a shot to in terms of a romantic relationship. They come into the picture. I, I kind of see you being swept off your feet, especially for single Libras. I really see something about a friend coming back in connection to love. Now, if you're in a stable, committed relationship with someone that you truly love, they're a soulmate. You may have a soulmate friend coming back into the picture. Now, they're not going to sweep you off your feet in a romantic sense. But there's somebody, it's almost like you'd be spending a lot of time together again. And it's kind of abrupt. It just feels really good. That person feels really good for you, Libra. But I feel like you're going to pretty easily see the difference between these two personalities, okay? How are you going to know? How do you feel when you're with this person? But also, how do you feel as soon as they leave? You can feel good in the presence of somebody who's super deceptive because they made me a smooth talker. But as soon as they walk away, as soon as you hang up the phone, you're like, mm, I have that weird, uncomfortable feeling. Trust that the rest of this month. That is your intuition guiding you. That is your intuition saying yes or no. If you spend time with somebody and you feel good, when they leave, you still feel good and you're excited. That's who this is. Now, I'm also feeling for some of you, Libra, you may have been separated from somebody just because of work. It may not have been like a true separation. I mean, Center of Your Reading is a separation card, but for some of you, you've been working a lot. 
you're coming back home to your soulmate. It feels like you guys will be spending more time together. Um, something has definitely kept you apart. You may have consciously separated. I'm telling you for those of you who have consciously separated, and this is coming up for more than one sign. This person, this beautiful soul that I just, I keep, I feel their energy, but I'm also seeing their energy. I'm seeing a lot of light around whoever this is for you. If you've had a separation and that person truly feels good, even if you guys have had some real problems, okay, it feels like something wasn't fully in balance. It feels like maybe moods weren't totally balanced. Um, something just felt a little off. This person comes back and there's more stability here. Entertain it, Libra. I really think that pers person is worth your while. Um, you may have also separated from somebody who is very deceitful too. Again, for those of you in healthy, committed relationships, I am not at all picking up that someone's deceitful now. I'm not picking that up. If someone was deceitful, that's definitely past tense. Do expect that kind of personality to try to show up too. Now, you can energetically say no, universe, mm -mm. And you can block that. You can. But it does feel like that person coming back, even trying to speak to you again, it almost just makes this person look better. I, I feel like you get some healing out of that. So if exes are contacting you or old friends you did have a falling out with, someone didn't treat you as well as they should have, you do get some peace. There is definitely peace here. But following separation for some of you is new love. If you're in committed relationships... It's new love. It's a new chapter in your current story, okay? It's beautiful. It's a continuation. It's a better chapter because there's healing. Something about that freedom, that space, helped heal something for you and a soulmate. But for others of you, do you see who you're calling in on both sides of the separation? We have a new love that is also a soulmate. This card, every time I look at this, I have this in my hand. I just get the same visual. It is someone with the most beautiful energy and there is so much love so if you are single and you would absolutely not entertain somebody coming back right now wow wow is this person going to shock the hell out of you their energy is really good i'm also going to say this for you libra this could also be your energy as well this is how you would be showing up in somebody's life oh my god okay so you know what i'm channeling with this clarified by this libra if you're single and you don't want to be single, you won't be for long, okay? New love is major, major, major. This is also a new chapter. There's healing. Give this person a shot, Libra. If you've been separated, oh my God, this is not a little soulmate. This is not someone who comes in shows you the lesson, and then they're out. This is someone who's going to stay, even if you guys have separated. Even if you guys have separated. But they're the one who's going to feel good with them, and as soon as they leave, pay attention. I mean, as soon as they leave, you see the door closed. How do you feel at that point exactly? When you hear them walking down the stairs on the way out of your building, how do you feel? What is your gut telling you? As soon as you hang up the phone, you may want to call them right back because your conversations are so amazing. That's fine. That's sort of um, feeling a little bummed because conversation's amazing and you can't wait to talk to them. That's still a really good energy. But is there something in your gut that's like, mm, I don't know if I trust you anymore. I don't know if I should really be doing this. Pay attention to that because that person is not this soulmate. But I will tell you this, okay? So I'm picking up two people. You may also have two soulmates trying to come back into your life. It's the one that makes you feel safe. It's the one that makes you feel safe, bottom line, okay? I do feel like if you are taking some space, I'm just going to show you this before I finish that thought. For yourself, clarified by X. It feels like if you're taking space right now, you're doing a very good job of taking care of yourself and it feels like you're enjoying it. I don't see Libra suffering over the next two months or over the next two weeks um, and in the few months ahead. I just don't see Libra suffering. If you're single, first of all, you're calling in some pretty great people, but I feel like you're enjoying your time. But I will tell you this. Okay, so clarifying for yourself, make sure this energy is gone. If you're not trying to get back together with somebody, if you've gone through a breakup, especially if this was the person who was deceitful and you just know that you cannot get past this, clear this energy completely 
completely. If this person eclipses out over the next couple of weeks, clear that energy. Give yourself enough space to heal before you start entertaining new relationships. Because if you don't, this energy is going to bring up some old karmic stuff that's going to interfere with how good this new soulmate connection is going to feel. Okay. For some of you, you're with the soulmate. You have a really good relationship and everything is so intact with you guys. This feels like a friend. You may be cutting ties with a friend. Um, the catalyst for that, it feels like someone may not be able to handle how in love you are. They may not be able to handle what a great partner you have. There could be some jealousy around you, a friend who isn't totally honest. Again, I'm getting deceitful energy with this, okay? It does feel like you may be cutting some ties, but for the majority of you, it feels like if this was going to happen, it has already happened. I'm really not seeing new separations over the next couple of months, unless it's a situation that maybe you should have stepped out of a few months ago and it kind of lingered. Mercury retrograde may be the push you need to get you out the door, but for the majority of you, this person is already past tense. Clear this energy, okay? A card flew a second ago. Let me get this for you. Okay, Libra, so new love, clarified. But keep an open mind, keep an open mind to new love. Just keep an open mind. If you are single, someone really legit is trying to come through for you. If you're going through a separation and that love is intact, you know this is such a beautiful soulmate. Keep an open mind to a new shot, a second chance, a new chapter, okay? It really, really, really feels like a good thing for you, Libra. Yeah, I'm definitely getting the number two still. Let me see if I'm channeling anything else. Okay, I am. So I've been getting the number two for you guys, and we have two soulmates here. Soulmate being clarified by soulmate. Feels like one soulmate is this ex that you may have to release before the other soulmate comes in. It does almost feel like two separate soulmates. But the newer one feels a little higher vibing. Um, you may have two exes come back. And again, two separate soulmate experiences. Absolutely, spirit is affirming that, okay? So you may have that magnetic draw because you recognize that soul connection. There's a potential to get pulled back to somebody who was deceitful, who may be deceitful again because you guys have that soul connection. Just be conscious and cautious of that there is somebody showing up for you libra who has none of that deceptive energy i'm literally telling you night and day completely different experiences so you may be a little closed off to new love because you didn't have um the best experience maybe you had a heartbreaking experience with somebody recently and you're thinking that you know do i really have it in me to go through that again i'm telling you i'm telling you somebody, somebody is worth being vulnerable again with, okay? There's someone who really is trying to show up and love you the right way. Crowning your reading is children. I'm definitely, first of all, I'm getting inner child work here for sure, especially while you're taking time to yourself and your healing. Inner child work is so key. Mercury retrograde is going to force some of this. So just handle it gracefully, get that work done. Any karmas that come up, you got this Libra. Some of you are apprehensive about new love. Spirit is asking you to keep an open mind because there are children involved. Maybe the ex is difficult. I'm definitely getting some seriously difficult exes. And you may feel like you can never fully release your ex because you guys have kids and that's really challenging. This new person who shows up can not only handle that dynamic, not only are they wonderful for your children, but their energy, their presence, their boundaries, there's something about this person that makes this difficult situation more peaceful. And it might just be, be because you feel like you have somebody on your side who really gets it, who really sees what's going on. It's not just your word against your ex. There's somebody there who is wise enough and evolved enough, can see like uh, that 360 or has a 360 perspective. So can help you navigate it a little bit better. 
there's something about children that feels more peaceful with this new person involved. They may be showing up with a child. You may be the one who helps a new partner strike some peace with their ex. Okay, remember these messages can go both ways in these general readings, but it does feel like for the majority of you, somebody else shows up and it's very peaceful for you. If you have kids involved, this is a beautiful, beautiful soul. Okay, another spiritual connection. So we have soulmate, clarifying by soulmate, this religious, this spiritual connection. This is who you are calling in. So if you had to separate from anybody in the recent past, and it's still hurting you, one, allow yourself to take time to acknowledge those emotions and work through them and release them over the next couple of weeks. Mercury retrograde will help you do that. But also recognize the quality of who is trying to show up. It's not that somebody new or replace somebody old. It's not that. But somebody's going to meet you higher vibing. They're going to meet you where you're at. It's somebody who's more compatible. You'll wind up looking back, being grateful that a relationship in the past didn't work out because this new soulmate, whoever this energy is, that is just so beautiful to me when I tap into, they're worth it. They're worth it. You're going to be grateful you didn't settle for something else. So keep your head up, positive intentions out there, an open heart. But I'm telling you, for those of you who are willing to entertain a reconciliation, it feels like you're going to have the opportunity to do that over the next couple of weeks. 